is just so gorgeous. Of course, now I don't want to go home because I want to find more, more, more. It's so great to be back on the river. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hey everybody, welcome to Katie Did Rocks. Today we are wading across an inlet to try to get to an island, see if we can find some rocks. Come along. Not just wading, it appears there was a little bit of mud. <laughs> it's always interesting to revisit a spot and see what the river has done this year. There are a few clean rocks here and I'm gonna hunt those. Most of them have some layers of silt on them, not super heavy silt, so maybe rains will wash it away. Here's a pretty little piece of aventurine. First agate of the day, and it's a good one. Can you spot it? It's going to be almost 100 degrees this afternoon, so I came down here early in the morning. Not super early, it's like the middle of the morning, but it's still cool out, so I'm hoping that that'll make it a nicer experience. Ooh, this is pretty. I thought initially it was a piece of petrified wood because of the shape, but it is in fact banded shirt. Look at that. This is kind of neat. This is red jasper on the matrix. The matrix is where it formed, so this was like limestone or something, and then this all precipitated and hardened. Standing there looking at this right by my foot was this piece. It's got quartz in the middle and then some kind of some kind of jaspery churdy stuff. That's really neat. I only have a small bag today, so I'm being extra careful about what I bring back. And uh, so far it's not going very well because I want everything. Here's a beautiful piece of jasper. I think it's not going in the pack, but it sure is pretty. Pretty enough to share with you. Because I was standing here looking at that jasper, I turned, looked over, and what do you suppose I see? That's right. It's an egg. Oh, it's a nice agate. Very beautiful. Yeah, that one's definitely going to have to come home with me. It's a nice little piece of driftwood. Yeah, just kidding. You know it's a rock. Petrified wood is so fascinating. Speaking of petrified wood. There's a nice chunk. This one is highly silicated, what I call agatized. What do we have here? Oh, wow, look at that. This is a treasure state agate. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at all those bands. That is just fantastic. These are always good for tumbling. Small so one kind of wedged between the rocks here. Looks like it's broken. Maybe a water line? We'll look at it closer later on.
another pretty piece of petrified wood. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Some kind of quartzite with jasper, breccia maybe? I think it looks like a giraffe. Picking up petrified wood, take a look at this one. That is agate agate. I was not looking forward to wading through this one because it looks very muddy, but there's actually rocks right underneath the mud, so I guess we're okay. These are so dark. This looks pretty. There's quartz back in there. You know, it's sometimes hard to make myself get off the couch and get in the car and drive the half hour it takes to get to the river. You know, that doesn't sound like very much to most of you, and it really isn't. But you know how, how that laziness kind of just takes over. So sometimes I have to make myself get up and go. But you know what? Every time, it's always worth it. Too bad we don't have smell-o-vision because it really stinks here. But check that out. This is an agate wrapped around a quartz nodule. Mostly quartz with an agate coating. Super pretty in the window. Coming home with me. And my goal of not picking up very many rocks is uh, slipping fast. Look at this pretty blue. This is pretty unusual. Look at the crystals in this jasper. There's a plane flying overhead too. That's kind of unusual also. We're near where Kava is over there, buried deep in the mud is a pair of my sandals. I got stuck and had to walk back barefoot. Ooh, this looks pretty. Pretty little water line. Yeah, isn't that lovely? This is a piece of what I have heard called shrink wood. Basically the cracks form when the wood dries and then it's filled in with agate. Very cool. I'm nearing the end of my hunt and I'm always like, oh, I just want to find one more really good one. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, that is just so gorgeous. Of course, now I don't want to go home because I want to find more, more, more. It's so great to be back on the river. I think I'll leave this here for someone else. Let's see, look at me leaving rocks behind. What have we got here? This is a piece of agatized wood. How big is it? It's this big. <laughs> Just that little chunk was sticking up out of the dirt.
agate here and maybe agate there. Oh, that mud is so sticky. What did I do with my bottle? This is kind of a cool one. It's got a quartz pocket right in the center there. And it looks like maybe it has some water line. And it definitely has some dendritic action going on. Very neat. One last find before we go. This is a piece of petrified agatized wood. I actually thought it might be an agate because of how opalized it is on this side. That just shows you how silicated it actually is. If you're feeling lazy and sitting on the couch, get up! Keep on doing! This is what it's all about and it always makes you feel really good. Thanks for coming along and keep on doing.